A man police arrested for making a threat against a school soon realizes police don't find his joke funny. Good evening. Thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. A Pocatello man is behind bars this evening after what he calls a bad joke. But police, parents, school administrators, they are not laughing. Matthew Belloff was taken into custody late this morning after making a threat that prompted thousands of students to be placed on lockdown. Our Stuart Summers was following this story since it first broke this morning. He has more from the Pocatello Newsroom. Stuart? Good evening, Todd. It was a very tense couple of hours for parents in School District 25 after they received word that all schools in the area had been placed on lockdown. Now, that lockdown was in response to a threat of a possible shooting that was received over Facebook. From all indications, this was just a attention-getting hoax. A hoax that originated with a Facebook event. Pocatello police say Matthew Belloff created an event he called school shooting. In the online post, Belloff made no mention of a specific Pocatello school, but the event was scheduled for today between 2 and 4 p.m. That information was basically uh, put on there to see what kind of feedback would come from it. Immediately, the event drew concern from those who saw the post and authorities were contacted. In response to the threat, all schools in the Pocatello Chubbuck School District were placed on code blue lockdown. Linda Wells heard about the threat after she received a call through the school district's automated system. I figured they had things under control enough if they were calling me. But my first gut reaction after that is, well, I'm just going to go check my kids out. Dozens of other parents like Linda immediately went to schools in the area to check their children out for the day. By noon, the lockdown had been lifted and Beloff was in custody. In a post on Facebook earlier this morning, Beloff said, quote, Okay, so I made an event called School Shooting. Turns out even though I don't go to any schools and it's a joke, bad joke, I got in trouble. I'm not a threat to any school and I feel stupid from even making that post. Geez, give it up, coppers, please. End quote. But Ellis says the act for attention went too far. I believe the intended reaction was more than they anticipated. And officers were posted at every school in the district for the remainder of the day as a precaution. Police say they still have a lot of questions that remain at this hour about Belloff and this bad joke. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio, Todd. All right, Stuart, thank you. Pocatello police say Belloff was arrested for a violation of a condition of release that stems from a previous incident. He's currently being held in the Bannock County Jail as he awaits charges from the prosecutor's office related to today's hoax. More information is expected to be released tomorrow about the case.